What's up everybody, this is Barry Fish Tank and today I'm bringing you a new episode, a new um, sort of series that is coming up on my channel which is Aquarium Q&A. I've had this in the back of my mind for a very long time and I decided that I really wanted to make this and um, you guys can basically post questions about you know salt water tanks, African secret tanks, planet tanks, everything like I've kept pretty much all aspects in this hobby so you guys can just ask me any questions and just to give you a brief idea I've kept aquariums for soon 8 years now um, I've kept fresh water tanks, salt water tanks, even a brackish tank for a very short time so you guys can just come with some questions if you want to um, you know um, so uh, I, wa I really want it to be an episode that is about like 3 minutes or so so what I'm going to do is that I'm basically going to um, you know, um, like gather a lot of questions, so it might be about two weeks before I make the video itself because but I really want to make sure that there's enough questions and that this will be, um, you know, a high demand on my channel so that people actually will post questions um, but yeah so uh, just before we um, we talk further about this topic, we can just look at some updates in this tank um, you know, we got cherry shrimp in here now um, you can see there's about like 12 or something like that in here um, really awesome you can see the filter thing that was right here I actually removed that um, because I didn't really like the look of it to be honest um, I, I thought it was um, kind of annoying um, to kind of it, it filled a lot of the tank room basically and a lot of the shrimp would crawl into the filter itself um, and it, they would just sit down there and they might actually die of of not getting any food into that, that filter thing because they can't get out again so that's kind of sad um, but I got them all out and um, you know the filter is gone and um, you know the filter thing so I just placed the filters out here like the heater there and things like that and um, that's a little bit it doesn't sit right but whatever um, so um, you know uh, you might also notice that there are these small fish swimming around right here these are gobby fry basically so my gobbies have actually bred over here um, so I got some gobby fry, I got three of them in here, there's one there too, and where's the last one, let me see if I can find it, they are really really tiny so it can be really hard to actually spot them, um, but they are really awesome, really happy for these little fish, um, and then you know the, the corridor, the pygmy corys are doing really well, um, there's some of these shrimp that actually have eggs, you can see right here, um, that one actually got eggs, there's also a few other of the cherry shrimp that got eggs. You can see there's a really nice cherry shrimp sitting right there. Um, you know, these cherry shrimp are really awesome. I really like cherry shrimp. They're definitely one of my favorite freshwater shrimp. Even though they're really simple and things like that, I think they're really nice. Um, in the back here, um, you know, I used to have the Echinodorus plant, but it didn't really do well in the low lighting. Um, so, um, I basically had to do something else. So, I placed some um, Hygrophila corambosa back here. Um, it's a plant that doesn't really require a lot of lighting, so it can grow back there. It'll just go grow really slowly, but it will grow nicely back there. Um, you know, I got some Ludwigia plants back there. You can see there's some tips right there. They are growing crazy much, um, getting some really nice roots down in the substrate. Um, you know, the Limnophila has grown really tall. I actually already cut this for a week ago, but it it already grew out again, and that just shows how fast this plant grows. But I really like the jungle look of this tank, you know, it can be a little bit tall, I don't mind that because a lot of the, uh, the shrimp actually likes to hide in there because it's a lot darker down there so they can sit down there um, and just, you know, be peaceful down there, um, you know, because sh shrimp really need a lot of hiding places and things like that, so, um, but I've had some algae growing up here, you can see there's some spots of it, um, I'm getting an Otisindus catfish at some point so I can take care of some of the algae. Um, because the cherry shrimp doesn't really seem to mind those types of allergies. Um, so anyway, let's get back to the aquarium Q&A. Um, and I really wanted to, you know, um, to say that you can ask any, um, you know, aquarium related questions and I'll be sure to answer them. Um, I might make a video in like two weeks or something. Um, but you can post it in private messages in the comments. Um, you know on my email, boyrofishing at gmail.com, I don't really care, just put it anywhere you want um, and I will basically um, answer them in an, in an episode because I thought that would be really nice um, so just a closer look at these little guys, look at those guys 
I really like Gobby Fry for some reason. I just think they're awesome. Look at those guys. They're all crazy. I just fed them with some flake food actually. They really enjoyed that. Um, but yeah. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And hope you guys will post some questions. Um, so yeah. See you guys in another video.